Uh, so basically, tonight's video is going to be a little bit different uh, than my normal topics. And what we're going to be talking about tonight is basically being with younger men. That's right, yes, younger men. Um, me, myself, basically, I was considered a MILF. Uh, basically, my ex was actually 10 years younger than me. And I just want to let you guys know, you know, how to spice up a uh, relationship when you are with an older woman or if you think that you would be interested in being with an older woman. Now, in a lot of situations, I think that it's very sexy, you know what I mean? But, hey, everybody has their, you know, own thing. But basically, I'm going to give you, you know, some things that basically spice up my sexual relationship when it came to me being with, you know, a younger man. Uh, so basically, you know, with me, um, actually, I used to never, I, I would always say that I would never do a threesome. And for me, um, I've been with women before. Uh, most, I mean, when I used to dance, I was with many, many women, you know, not because I like to be with the women. It was kind of a, you know, show, but I enjoyed it, you know, uh, pretty much some of the times. Um, <laughs> we'll get into that story in another uh, video. But basically with him, I decided that, you know what, I think that this would spice up the relationship. So we called an escort. And uh, when the girl came over, it was unbelievable. Um, basically, now I will tell you this, if you are with your girlfriend, let her control the show when it comes to that, because that was one of my biggest things. I was like, listen, you know what I mean? I don't know how I'm gonna feel, but we're calling an escort. So I'm gonna tell you if you could sleep with her or if you cannot sleep with her. Uh, so basically, when she came over, she happened to be a gay. I mean, she was really, really attractive. And uh, basically, um, you know, she respected me to the fullest. Um, and basically, the guy that I was with, he made sure that he waited and he got off with me. He also asked me if he could have sex with the girl. And um, I had to think about it. But then I felt comfortable with him sleeping with her. Now, he respected me to the fullest, so I had no complaints. But if it is a friend of you guys, don't do it. I suggest that you never do that because you never know if the girl is going to wind up getting with your boyfriend or husband, you know, who knows. But I think that that definitely spices up a relationship. Also, another thing that I would do is go to the strip clubs with him. Uh, this was a plus for me. You know, I would get table dances, lap dances, the whole nine yards, you know, and I would enjoy the night with him, you know, at the strip clubs. This was excellent, you know, because you're not jealous. You know, you have the dancers there that are getting paid basically, you know, to shake their bodies or whatever. And you guys both get turned on, you know, and then you guys go home and you guys do your thing, you know. Um, and some more hints that I could give you guys is uh, basically the older girl, she's always going to be more knowledgeable when it comes to the younger guy you know what i mean so basically that could be a plus when it comes to younger men wanting older women because of course we know and we're more experienced and many many more things than they are so an older woman could definitely teach you the tricks that you need to know um now for me personally i'm a squirter you know what i mean um and for me squirting is like Something that came out in me many years into my sex life, uh, I actually was working at a webcam. I used to actually do webcam. And the first time that I found out I was a squirter was actually me masturbating and getting myself off. I'll never forget it because the guy on the screen, he was literally like, what is that? And me, myself, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, oh my goodness, wow, I just squirted. So uh, these things um, I think is very sexy. Now do all squirt I'm not sure as to if all of them squirt I'm pretty sure though you know men that are out there I'm pretty sure you could get the girl to squirt I'm gonna tell you the trick to make the girl squirt now when you're fingering the girl okay what you want to do is you want to finger the girl and you want to press up to get that spot in the girl's vagina now it sometimes you know the girls may feel like they're gonna pee but they have to be comfortable with letting this out so if you finger the girl and push up, you're going to get to that spot where if she's a squirter, it's going to come out. And when she does squirt, I'm telling you, this is like 
one of the biggest turns on for me myself personally you know what I mean um you know when I found out that I could squirt I was so intrigued by the whole situation and um you know it was an excellent feeling now so what I'm talking about is basically younger men and going out with older women which uh you know that was my situation I'm telling you in the beginning I would get sometimes embarrassed because I mean there's been times that you know, I would get called and they'd be like, oh, you want to bring your son with you? And I'd be like, what, my son? You know what I mean? And then people would call me a MILF. Forget about it. I would get so upset because I guess that stands for mother, I, wait, MILF, mother, I like to fuck. Yeah. Right? MILF. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the things with my relationship when I literally got, um, you know, with somebody younger than me. I remember, um, you know, we used to joke around and he would be like, that's what she said. And I'd be like, that's what who said. Now, this was right when I actually got out of prison, basically. So I didn't have no idea what that's what she said meant. So when they told me that's what she said, I'd be like, that's what who said. You know, I would start accusing him for talking to somebody. But that was another story in itself. It was um, actually very funny, you know, because he had to tell me I'm not talking about anybody. You know what I mean? It's a uh, show or something that they would watch. Um, but anyways, I, you know, I had a good time, you know, in my relationship being with somebody younger. I personally think that age is just a number. I think that if you guys click with one another, you know, I think that it really doesn't matter the age. Uh, you know, what I think is kind of, and hey, if it flows the guy's boat, it does. You see a lot of older guys that wind up getting with the younger woman. They wind up using the guy for money. Hey. You know, if the guy thinks the girl loves him, so be it, you know, is what I say. Um, now, me personally, um, I used to be a high class uh, escort. I did work for many, many um, high class agencies. Um, and uh, when I did work for the um, escorting agency, I basically thought it was to go and spend the time with that man for a particular amount of time. And that's what I would do. You know, I was very strict in my days, um, what I did, what I didn't do. Um, and I respected myself to the fullest. I also did bachelor parties, um, you know, which was really, really fun for me. Um, you know, with that being said, of course, you know, the person I was with, he knew that I did all these things. So for me, um, you know, to spice things up, I would always dress up like as a nurse, you know what I mean? Put on like a nursing's outfit with high heels, you know. And like walk in and just, you know, role play. I think role playing does it for a relationship, you know, because I would dress up like a sexy nurse and, you know, I would just like walk in there with like high heels on and be like, okay, let me, you know, see if your heart is working and, you know, let me do all these things. And, you know, that like really uh, turns on a guy. I would also act like a school teacher and I would basically act like I was teaching, you know, him. And then he would start getting a little bit flirtatious with me. And I'd be like, oh my goodness, you know what I mean? I'm your teacher. You cannot talk to me like that, you know? Me role-playing, it's where it's at. If you guys could do role-playing in your relationship, that is for me something that I think would do any relationship. Because you just put on, you know, that show. You know, like the act. Uh, like this was with one of my exes. Actually, I was with nine years. Um, the guy was with nine years. We would always do the role-playing act. And I remember, uh, you know, one of the things that I used to like to do is basically we were best friends before we winded up getting together with one another. And I would never want to sleep with him because I always, you know, said he was like a brother to me. Well, when I finally winded up being with him, one of my acts was basically he would try to kiss me and I'd be like, no, no, no. You know what I mean? I can't kiss you. You know, you're my best friend. And he'd be like, come on. You know what I mean? And he'd be trying to like you know, urge his way to sleep with me. And I'd be like, no, 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 you cannot. You know, I'm not doing that. You're going to tell everybody I'm not doing it, you know. And that, to me, turned me on amazingly, you know, because it was like a little, you know, skit. And I would just turn myself on because basically I'm telling him no. And then he would keep trying and, you know, you go into the act. Um, so I would definitely, um, you know, say that role playing is a plus in you guys' relationship. For me, porn, watching porn was never a thing for me. Um, you know, some people like that. Hey, if it's for you, you know, so be it. For me, I would always be like, no, why am I going to watch porn and then, you know, have my man sleep with me? I don't think that's right. But for some people, they may like porn that might hype up the situation. Um, and uh, also, I definitely suggest, I don't know if you like, like submissive things. 
um, like basically, you know, dressing up in leather high heels, you know, with a strap. And depending on, you know, if your man's going to let you strap or hit him or whip him, I mean, that would be totally up to him. And also, uh, what I suggest is basically going to, they have swingers clubs. And you don't have to do something, you know, with a couple all the time. You know, you, like for me, I just wanted to check out the scene. Uh, you know, you would go check out the scene. You know, a lot of them have like club memberships that you could do. And, um, you know, like I would watch the couples and stuff like that. But me personally, I never basically swing or got into the swinging thing. Because I always knew how to, you know, put the spice in my relationship to where, you know, I didn't really need any of that. But for me, um, you know, definitely a plus with the escorting thing, the role playing, everything that I'm telling you guys. Um, this is something that will definitely make your sex life last. Because, of course, when we get into a relationship, normally what happens is you guys, you know, nonstop sleeping with one another. And then, of course, it dies down, you know what I mean? I think that, you know, in every relationship that you have to have that spice because if you're just sleeping, you know, with the same man because, you know, men are men, women are women. I believe that that man eventually, if you don't put some spice into the relationship, that he's going to go elsewhere or, you know, things are going to start going a little bit, you know, not right because let's admit it, you know what I mean? A man being with a girl for so long he's going to get sick of you. I, I get not sick of you personally, but the sex life, you know what I mean? He's going to crave other, you know, girls and things like that. So why not be with your partner and, you know, be in it with him, you know, and be like, oh yeah, babe, you know what I mean? You think she's hot? You know what I mean? Do it. I'm telling you, this will be such a plus in your relationship because then your partner could basically have that friendship with you to where he doesn't have to be Oh man, my girl's going to trip, man. If she knows that I'm doing this, forget about it. What you're going to do is you're going to build a form of a relationship with your man to where he could bring his girl or he could bring his wife with the boys, you know what I mean, when he goes out. You know, he's not going to have to say, oh, my girl won't let me do that. If you are like this with your man and you are so on him, on him, on him about doing something, most of the time what a woman does is force him to doing it, you know what I mean, because he gets accused for it so much. That he says, you know what, I might as well go and do it anyways. I'm being accused for it. So that is where that jealousy and that, you know, thinking that your man's going to do something and always be worried about that situation. This is where, and I'm telling you this will work, is if you are, you know, good with your man. You know what I mean? Act like you're his best friend. You know what I mean? And he'll wind up telling you everything and feel as comfortable as possible with you. And just know, you know, if you've been with that man for amount of years... You know, you need to do something to spice up the damn relationship because even for the woman, you know what I mean? The girls, it gets old sometimes, you know, you want a little bit of spice in, you know, your relationship. So, I mean, for me, that is something that I always knew, you know, within myself. I knew, listen, if I'm going to be with a guy for this long, you know, I kind of felt when things started getting old or the same position all the time, you know what I mean? when I had to take control, you know what I mean? And push him to the side, get on top, you know, do my thing. And, you know, I mean, I could always work my relationships, trust me on that, um, you know, and not being conceited about it. I just knew and felt, you know, okay, this needs spice, you know what I mean? Because he's not paying me that much attention. He's looking at that bitch's ass, you know, whatever the case may be, I knew. And then that's when I would start, you know, putting in my friendship or, you know, trying to connect with him, you know, putting a friendship into that. So I just um, definitely thought that this would be a good subject, you know, um, because I was always the type of person that always winded up, you know, getting into my relationships and making it work. You know what I mean? I was always like a relationship type girl, you know, now I'm single on the single side. Woo you know what I mean? I'm all for it. But most of the time I would, you know, get into my relationship and be with the guy for years. So I definitely wanted to touch on this subject because, you know, I know a lot of people in the world today, basically they go through these types of problems, you know. Um, you know, I see people arguing all the time. Oh, you know what I mean? Why do you want to be with her for? You're this, this, this. And I see all the arguing. I just look at them and I'm like, man, if they only knew, you know what I mean, that they could literally be friends with their partner, you know what I mean? So I, I thought I should definitely touch up on this because I'm telling you, girls, guys, you know, you guys don't even know when you guys have a bond in a relationship, instead of all that arguing and nagging and accusing and you did this, you did that. 
I mean, it would be such an amazing thing, you know. Um, I am going to start posting more videos up about all types of things. You know, I'm going to start doing basically, uh, you know, sexual meditations, um, you know, talking a lot about sexual pleasure and, uh, you know, things that you could do in a relationship to actually, you know, make your relationship top notch. And also, you know, talking about things for us single, you know, women now that I'm single, but, uh, you know, I just want to throw a lot of spice into this channel and, you know, switch it up a little bit. So do me a favor. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as if you want to drop me any comments, feel free to do so. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.